And welcome back again. Joining us now is former San Antonio mayor and HUD secretary Henry Cisneros. Thank you so much for staying up with us. I, I know you probably wanted to go home, but we wanted no, to no, keep no. you on. Happy this to is, be here. This is fascinating because this race was decided by about 2,500 votes. I, I think a lot of people knew it'd be close, but this this was really close. Yeah. And we were talking about previous recent elections. In 2015, Leticia Van de Putin, Ivy Taylor had a close race. Right. Taylor won, but then she couldn't, you know, find re-election because she was defeated by Nuremberg. Yeah. What is it about this era of San Antonio politics? Well, it's not just San Antonio politics. It's the state and it's the country that's very divided on some philosophical questions. So these kind of get very sharp, as we saw with the Chick-fil-A debate. Who would have imagined that a vote like that with two months left on the council right before the election would, would blossom into that kind of question that forced you to determine, are you a progressive or, or are you conservative on this question? And it splits the electorate. Um, but uh, I, I think what people fundamentally said this evening, in my judgment, in the end, close call, Buzz, we know we're growing, we know there are challenges, we're not going to accomplish those things by simply attacking and criticizing. We need somebody who's going to take us to the next level. Ron Nuremberg has done that for the last two years. Not everyone is happy with the direction. Uh, he has set out some frameworks in transportation, frameworks in equity, frameworks in climate change. You can't get it done in two years. I think people tonight sort of gave him an act of faith that, that he'll be allowed to continue to do that work. And you know, Mayor Ron Nuremberg acknowledged tonight that this was a symbol and, and he recognizes that he really needs to unify this city. He almost seemed a little you know, obviously tired, but a little well, deflated. How does he actually well, get those voters? First of all, the wrong dynamic is deflation because you want an election yeah, he's, in a city sure, of 1.5 sure. million people. And I'm sure Ron will wake up in the morning ready to go yeah. to work. Uh, and by the way, he's, you know, he's, he's a personally disciplined man. He's a weightlifter. He knows how to sort of tolerate tough pain and, 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 and gain from that. And, I, and, I, and I've talked to, with him about this. I think he'll apply that to the lessons of this election. He's got a blank slate to start fresh and go forward. He's got a good city council, as you said, a majority of the council is women. That has only happened one other time in San Antonio history. And they're very capable people, as well as the veteran men who are on the council. So it's a very positive council. San Antonio is growing, one of the faster growing cities in the country, not just in population growth, but in jobs. Lots of things are coming our way. I've been around a long time in San Antonio politics, and we've never had a moment when so many national prospects are looking at San Antonio. Ron Nuremberg's term can be, however it lasts, another two years, four or six, it can be one of the better times for San Antonio. And my guess is an event like this, a close call, a scare, can be a wake-up moment, a galvanizing moment that you've got to do some things differently. And I think he's going to have to talk to the city council and coordinate better. I think he's going to have to talk to the public and explain in terms that the people can understand. Brock House's forte is being able to explain in populist terms mm -hmm. that people can relate to. The mayor could use a little of that. And having been through these things where you have a tight election and you really are, you know, kind of galvanized, it can actually work to your benefit. Okay. Just like, you know, a fighter who goes into a tough fight comes out of it with greater confidence. And the one thing we can all agree on, we love this city. It was good to see voter turnout was a little bit higher than previous recent elections. We'd like to still see that momentum going. And these close elections, that uh, east side election and this one, yeah. again, you can't say your vote doesn't count because it was very close tonight. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. And you it's have an a honor good to evening. be here. Thank you. Thank you.